Hello friends, welcome to my channel CMS Biology for a new lecture. In this video, we are going to discuss about the ECG or EKG means the electrocardiogram. So the ECG recording is the recording of electrical changes that occur in the myocardium, the special type of muscle of the heart that is the myocardium during a cardiac cycle. So all the events or the electrical changes that occur during a single cardiac cycle is recorded in the form of a graph which is known as electrocardiograph and the instrument which is used is called electrocardiogram. So the changes in the myocardium is can be recorded by the use of our skin so it can be detected on the surface of our skin. The electrodes are placed on different places or on the surface of our body on the skin and are connected by OS to an instrument. They are connected by OS to an instrument known as electrocardiogram. So it can be measured. The electrocardiograph represents the rate and rhythm of heartbeat. ECG represents the sequence of depolarization and repolarization of atria and ventricles. So the ECG shows different events like depolarization and repolarization of atria and ventricles. Clear? So in this, we will learn about ECG and this is the normal ECG found in healthy individuals. So first in my previous lecture we have studied about the conducting system in our heart where the SA node plays important role. SA node gives the electrical signal which passes to the AV node and through the AV node from AV node bundle of his are present in the interventricular septum and the bundle of his carries the electrical impulse through the left and right branch of the bundle of his to bring it at the end or the apex of heart where it travels through the Purkinje fibers. So all together they help in the conduction of impulse that helps in the contraction and relaxation of atria and ventricle means systole and diastole of the atria and ventricle. So now we will study about the different events that takes place in the ECG. So first we will discuss about the P wave. So look at this ECG, the first wave, the smaller wave is called P wave. So it is the P wave. I have already told you that these waves represents the polarization and means depolarization and repolarization of the artery and ventricle. So as we know in the conduction of heart first the two chambers two superior chambers the two atria contracts. Contraction means here it they depolarize. So in P wave the wave of depolarization means it represents the depolarization of depolarization of what depolarization of the superior chambers that is the atria depolarization of atria so it occurs for only 80 to 100 milliseconds it occurs for 80 to 100 milliseconds. Okay. So the SA node sends the electrical signal to the superior part of the atria which contracts fast and the contraction of atria is represented by the fast wave in the ECG that is the P wave and it takes place only for within 80 to 100 milliseconds. Next, we will go for the PR interval. So let's discuss about the second part that is the PR interval. After depolarization of atria, a gap period is there which is called PR, PR interval. 
so it is the interval between p wave and the qrs complex the pr is the delay between the activity of atria and ventricle so the activity of atria and ventricle to contract the ventricle we need some time because the impulse should conduct from the av node through the bundle of his into the purkinje fiber and contraction of ventricle takes place after that so the time taken by the electrical impulse to contract the ventricle is represented by the pr interval it is the atrioventricular conduction time during which the impulse is conducted from the atrial region to the ventricular region so it takes only 120 to 200 millisecond 120 to 200 milliseconds and it is the interval atrioventricular conduction time i can write down here it is the atrioventricular atrioventricular conduction time so it is the time taken for the conduction of impulse from the atrial region to the ventricular region next one thing we need to know here the pr interval becomes short when the heart beat is faster during exercise when our heart beats faster at that time the pr interval becomes shorter and it becomes longer during low heart beat while we sleep during sleep the heart beat is slower so the pr interval also decreases so the short or shorter pr interval is seen in exercise during exercise phase and during sleep the during low heart rate the pr interval increases so the pr interval increases during rest during slow heart beat and decreases during exercise or high heart beat next we will discuss about the most important part the qrs complex so let's discuss about the qrs complex the largest depletion the q or s complex so what is qrs complex it indicates onset of contraction of ventricle or depolarization of ventricle it indicates depolarization of ventricles as the electrical signal travels through the bundle of his to the purkinje fibers now it reaches the ventricular region so it causes depolarization of ventricle means in this time the ventricular systole takes place ventricular systole systole or ventricular systole means ventricular contraction systole is also known as contraction so during this period the ventricle contracts and it takes only 60 200 milliseconds it takes only 60 200 millisecond of duration so it takes very less time and the ventricle contract during this period during the qrs complex the ventricle contracts so the depolarization of ventricle occurs so as a result the ventricular contraction and takes place and this qrs complex represents depolarization of ventricle now we will go for the next interval the qt interval so let's talk about the qt interval what is qt interval so qt interval is the time between it is the time between activation of electrical activity in ventricle and they are returned to resting state qt interval qt interval represents the activation of electrical activity so when after the depolarization of ventricle the ventricle needs to repolarize so the gap between the depolarization 
on repolarization of ventricle is represented by the QT interval. So it represents the start of the ventricular depolarization till the end of ventricular deep ventricular repolarization. So QT interval is the time taken from QRS complex from the start of QRS complex till the end of T wave. And again it is short during high heartbeat and it is long during low heart rate. So after the QT interval, the QT interval we will go for the T wave. Now we will discuss about the T wave. So it is the last wave, the T wave and the T wave represents the cardiac ventricle to return to resting state after activation. So here the ventricles return to their resting state means the signals of relaxation of ventricular walls starts. So this T wave gives the signal that the ventricular wall is going to relax. So here ventricular ventricular wall relax means the ventricular diastole takes place. Ventricular diastole it's in so the T wave represents ventricular diastole or relaxation of the ventricular wall. Okay, so here the T wave means the QRS complex represents the depolarization and T wave represents the repolarization of the ventricles. So from this we get the conclusion we came to the conclusion that the P wave represents arterial contraction. PR interval represents the time period that is taken by the electrical impulse to travel to the ventricular region and cause ventricular contraction. QRS complex represents ventricular contraction. T wave represents ventricular relaxation. So once something is depolarized means it should be repolarized. The arteria contracts and then relax. The ventricle also contract then relax. But here the P wave re represents the arterial contraction. PQ, QRS represents the ventricular contraction and T waves represent the ventricular relaxation. But where is the arterial relaxation? which wave represents the arterial relaxation. P wave represents its contraction, but its relaxation is also there in the QRS complex. So the repolarization of arteria means the relaxation of arteria and contraction of ventricle or depolarization of ventricle, both are there in this QRS complex. As the ventricular contraction or ventricular depolarization is more prominent as compared to the arterial repolarization or arterial relaxation, it is masked here. The QRS complex masked the arterial relaxation. Clear? So ventricular contraction plays important role and it is masked, it masked the arterial relaxation. So arterial relaxation is masked by the ventricular contraction. Clear? So now we will discuss about different different uh, abnormalities that we can study from the from this ECG or EKG the electrocardiograph. So the size of waves can provide information about abnormalities. The size of different waves the P, Q, R, S and T represents or provides the information about the abnormalities of our heart function. Some of them are the larger P wave, when the P wave is larger, it means the enlargement of an atrium. So when the atrium is enlarged, the P waves becomes larger. Likewise, the enlarged Q wave may indicate myocardial infarction. 
so the myocardial infarction is represented by the q wave so when it is represented by the q the q wave represents the myocardial infarction infarction means the death of tissues due to lack of sufficient oxygen so myocardial infarction is represented by enlarged q wave next the enlarged r wave when the r wave is larger means it represents it detects that the ventricles are enlarged so when the ventricles are enlarged the r waves becomes larger and flatter t wave represents insufficient oxygen supply to the heart so the flatter when the t wave becomes more flat it represents insufficient oxygen supply to our heart so by study of the electrocardiogram we can detect different abnormalities of heart's function and this ecg represents how the conduction of electrical signal takes place in our heart for the contraction and relaxation of different chambers of our heart this is all about the ecg or electrocardiogram i think you can understand in detail about this if you have any doubt please comment below and if you want to know anything more about this you can ask me thank you very much please subscribe to my channel cms biology thank you